two choices, either that the, the custody agreement or the order stay as it is, which all parties agree that, that it is not working, that Mr. Raymond be given sole physical and legal custody, or that Ms. Raymond be given primary physical custody. Mr. Raymond showed nothing that was in his, what he was asking this court to do that was in the best interest of the children. What did Ms. Raymond show in her request, Your Honor, her request to be primary physical custodian of the children? What she showed is that she has been fighting against a machine, a machine with $140 million a year, who has access to everybody around her. We saw it. Her friends, her supposed, the godmother of her children, supposedly. We saw it. The betrayal. His ability to get people to betray her. That's what we saw. What is that? That's control and intimidation. You heard her testify. You saw the documents, the emails, where a friend of hers who lives in Florida was purportedly subpoenaed to come here. How could that be? It can't. It can't happen. So any subpoena that she received, it wasn't valid. It was intimidation. Ms. Raymond testified about her computer documents missing. She testified about being in the airport, walking towards the ticket counter, getting a call from Mr. Raymond, asking, are you going to be back from Houston in time for the custody exchange? How did he know she was going to Houston? It's control. He has access to all information. She lives in his house. He has money. People, you've seen it, Your Honor, come here. They betray Ms. Raymond just to touch the hem of his garment. Just to touch the hem of his garment. This, Your Honor, is a well-orchestrated play. Ms. Raymond, what witnesses did she present? All of her witnesses, Your Honor, were presented to show that she should be primary custodian. They talked about her parenting. Ms. Raymond isn't perfect. Everybody knows Ms. Raymond is not perfect. We've been here 11 days. She's not perfect. She's late. She's difficult. But she's a good mother. And you did not hear anybody, not his witnesses, not hers, no one, no document that says she's not. No one testified that those children don't love her. Everyone said they love their mother. They stick on her like glue, like white on rice. They love being around her. She plays with them. She cooks for them. Did you hear anybody say that about him? No. Not even, again, his fantasy village. They weren't here. You heard no one testify about his parenting. But you heard every witness here, his and hers, testify about hers, whether they had good stuff to say or whether they had bad stuff to say. It was about her parenting. And, Your Honor, essentially what Mr. Raymond is asking, because he's asking to take the children on tour for months, he's essentially asking that what it boils down to is that Ms. Raymond's parental rights be terminated. What? There are crack addicts on the street who don't have their parental rights taken. They're given the opportunity to go to rehab. Why should Ms. Raymond be any different? Mr. Raymond is asking for it to be different because he's Usher Raymond. We've been here for 11 days because he's Usher Raymond. Your Honor, if in fact the petitioner were a carpenter who traveled around and built houses or repaired houses, if he came in this courtroom and said, I want to take my 
children with me to go build houses, we wouldn't be here. But we're here because it's Usher Raymond. Those witnesses were up there because he's Usher Raymond. The law should not treat him differently. Better yet, the law should not treat their children differently because it's Usher Raymond. It's not about him. It's about what's in the best interest of the children. No one testified, not an expert, not the guardian ad litem, no one testified that these children, three and four years old, would do well abroad, traveling to different countries every two or three days, would do well away from their friends, well away from the village that he has established for them, well away from their mother, well away from extracurricular activities. No one's testified to that because it's ludicrous. It doesn't even make sense. But that's what he proposes. The most significant witness out of this entire case, Your Honor, was Portia Williams. She was significant because she testified about Ms. Raymond's parenting, not just during this very stressful case, not just from observation of a month or two or three months. She testified about her parenting over a decade period, a decade from her older children to Usher and Navi. She was the most credible, the most important witness. She testified about how when Mr. Raymond 